It's beer o'clock on Meal Old Craft Beer. I believe I have something very special in my hand. Uh, it's from Pirate Life. It's their Mosaic IPA coming in at 7% ABV. There's the label. And why do I think it's special? First of all, let me get my channel sponsor done. That is beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fantastic range of beer from all around the world. They got this from Australia, they got great American beer, great beers from the UK, Belgium, Germany, France, Italy, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, absolutely fantastic range of beers from all around the world. So check out beersofeurope.co.uk in the description box of the video. Why do I think I got such a special beer here in Pirate Life Mosaic? Because I was told it's a really good beer, number one. And number two, and I wanna get this out of the way first before I crack it open, uh, Pirate Life, have been purchased by AB InBev. So if you're watching this review in two, three, four, five years time and they still make this beer and you're thinking, you're sipping away at this beer in five years time thinking, this tastes, this tastes bland. You know, this tastes, this tastes absolutely awful. W what is he banging on about? The disclaimer is, is that I'm drinking it because this is still from the original company before InBev bought them. So. It's gonna be fantastic, it's gonna be great, I hope, anyway. Um, so so on my part, if you're thinking that guy's crazy, that, but that beard is so bland, and you're watching the review in say 2023 or 2022, because we're recording this in 2017, it's because one of the largest breweries in the world have purchased this Australian craft brewer and made all their beers bland. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Let's get the can out into a glass and see what we get. Beer in a glass then. I love the 500 milliliter cans. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Three finger, slightly off white head, a hazy amber colored ale with slow moving carbonation rolling up the glass. The beer looks wonderful. It's one of those hazy looking IPAs. Shall we get the aroma? Yeah, it smells incredible, absolutely incredible. Citrusy, grapefruity, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. There's a little bit of kind of sherbet lemon going on as well in there. Should we dive in? Cheers. Stone the Crows, what an amazing beer. Oh, it's so full of flavour for the 7% ABV beer. It's just so juicy and fresh and drinkable. And then there's just this kind of slow moving bitterness that it's like I have an old Nissan Micra. You know the Nissan Micra? If you're watching this in America or Australia, it's a tiny little Nissan car with no engine at all and it struggles to get up hills. This reminds me of my car. It's just a struggle out of a, I mean this in the best possible way. It's a slow moving bitterness that just kind of keeps going and going and going and going. And it's just a slow moving bitterness that is still building now on the palate. So you're getting a rush of flavour, you're getting a rush of tropical fruit and grapefruit, orange peel and pineapple. As that's happening, the sensation, that bitter sensation, is just building ever so slowly and it just keeps creeping up and up and up. And yes, it's just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful beer. Fresh, you can taste the freshness of the water as well, the water quality, soft water in the beer. 
little tickle of carbonation just to help to push the beer around the inside of the mouth and release more of that flavour. Oh, the aroma, I like to breathe in as well when I drink these styles of beer. Breathe in and, and taste at the same time. Just incredible. Absolutely incredible beer from Australia. I, I, again, I want to just touch back slightly on what I was saying. Let's see if it's can conditioned. I want to touch back slightly on what I was saying. And I know now AB InBev have bought Pirate Life. I know it's happened now. Maybe they'll just leave them alone. Maybe they'll just leave them alone to produce good beer. Um, I know, meantime, that are owned by a big Japanese company now. Um, the people, I think, who produce um, Asaki, um, the lager, the Japanese lager, I think they, they own Meantime Brewing Company now. And I had a Meantime beer in Belgium, believe it or not, with the head brewer of, of Meantime. And I had their, one of their kind of it was a stronger IPA style beer and it was really good. And that was like three years after they were purchased by, uh, initially I think it was Miller Coors uh, and then Miller Coors amalgamated with another company and they had to sell some of their breweries off. So they sold this brewery off to, meantime over to a Japanese company. But I had their beers, Meantime's beers, back in 2011 when they were an independent company and their beers were great. And I had their beers 2017 May this year and they they were still really really good so there's hope there's hope for pirate life um, on the other side of things on the kind of bad side of things you've got to look at people like Goose Island that's an AB InBev product and that used to be a fabulous beer again I had the Goose Island IPA I had that honkers ale and I had another I think I had the um, 312 wheat lager thingy bobbity beer and that was really good and I remember a few years later just about two years ago I tried some Goose Island and it's just it's it's, it's nothing what it was absolutely nothing to what it was as a, 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 all them years ago and the same for Nergneo Nergneo in in Norway have been bought out by a company called Hansa and and Hansa of kind of like dumb down Nergneo's beers. And Nergneo were, were the kind of big thing in Norwegian craft brewing. Everybody loved them. They were known all around the world. And now it's a bit of a kind of a like, like a mm, product. It's a bit bland, it's a bit boring. Um, there's nothing the guys at Pirate Life can do now. They've sold the brewery. If, if AB InBev decides that they're putting too many hops in the beers and the beers are too expensive, then they're just going to become bland beers. But at the moment, as an independent, as this is an independent can, this is this is before AB InBev purchased the company, this is absolutely fantastic. And the date is something like December the 7th, 2017. Again, I want to reiterate, if you're watching this beer review, five years in the future and you've bought this and it's bland as hell, it's not because it's, there's something wrong with your taste buds, just blame AB InBev. But let's hope that doesn't happen. Rating them for Private Life Brewing Company's Mosaic, 7% ABV. Can looks fantastic, beer looks fantastic, it smells fantastic and it tastes fantastic. I like that enough to give it a stone the crows, 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.